Now, this is the, the fly I'm going to be tying. It's basically a small, it's a cinnamon caris. It's what it was, the story behind the fly was that uh, I tied, it was a box of flies that I had uh, in the monthly draw and uh, the gentleman who got the flies fished this fly, caught him a lot of fish. He wants to know how to tie it so I'm going to quickly tie it. It's an easy pattern to tie. Uh, really simple to, uh, just the materials you can mess about a wee bit with but overall it's quite simple to tie. Now, I'm gonna, the hooks I'm using now, these are a light hook, it's a very light hook, this one. It's uh, from Fully Mill, it's a size 14 barbless hook. Uh, it's a really nice, it's a good dry fly hook. Uh, and if you're looking for a light wire hook, this is the one. So, let's see, it's reasonably simple to tie. Thread, I actually used a rusty brown thread in the fly, you could use a cinnamon to go with the fly, but I feel this just has a wee touch of colour uh, to the underbody of the fly, but it's when it's wet as well near the thorax. So we simply have waxed the thread, just put a layer of thread down halfway and come all the way back up to the, hip, the eye of the hook. This is just a, an elk, an elk hair, just bleached. And uh, you don't need too much. Now, always to trim it away and then clean up, take away the under fur. There's a lot of this soft under fur in this. So you've got to make sure that's out of the way. So, because I'm going to stack it, and I'll not stack it unless you take that away. Tips first into the stacker, tap on your desk, it should. Should be lined up. Then what we're going to do is tie it forward. So we look at the length of the wing that you want. Just imagine when obviously the hook the other way. If you tie it in, this is just a length you want by the back of the hook. So if you it's the same measurement, just tie it forward. And then you catch it down on the top, two or three turns. Now Make sure it's tied forward and we make sure this is tight, really tight because I'm going to break away the, the hair. Yeah, but you've got to have tight thread to do that or oh, tight thread turns. Wax does help. We wax the thread again. I've got the dubbing I'm used, it was this dubbing here, it's called UV. Uh, it's UV2 from Spirit River, and this is uh, it's always a UV2 fine, dry, fine and dry tan. So it's a really nice dubbing to use, especially in dries. And it dubs easy. Just lightly dub it onto the thread, and then what I do is slide it up, get it started. And we're actually going to tighten the way down, as you, can, as you can see, and just lightly dub it on, stretching it out. Just give it a wee turn when you need to, Oops. and then come back up. Now it soaks, this will soak up your floating, so it will just stretch now a wee bit here. Now you're coming up, leave your cell a good thorax length, remove the excess. The under wing is cinnamon dyed CDC. Now I used two feathers, just two CDC feathers. Bring the tips together, line them up, pull them in. You want it just slightly by the bend of the hook. Just tie that on the top. Good three or four turns down. Just check, it's a wee touch long when you go back in. That's fine. Trim that away. Now what I'm going to do is use the CDC. You can use it as a dubbing or you can spin it on. Now I'm going to spin it on. So basically what I do is I take the thread up right to the wing or right to the elk here, sorry. And then I'm going to remove the CDC from the two feathers. Put it in my desk. Sit it on your desk, 
on the other side. There's plenty on this to form the, the thorax and give it a wee bit of leg. Now what I do, you can, as I say, you can dub it on or you can use a dubbing loop. Now, first thing I do, I usually do is wax the thread, plenty of wax on it. Then you spin the bobbin holder anti-clockwise. And then you have that flattens the thread. So then what you do is use your needle, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see how it flattens it out. And then the tip of the needle, I usually do it underneath, but I'll try and do it on the top so you can see. Just put the needle through the middle. You only need about an inch or so. Uh, then pick your CDC up. Slip it in between the thread. I'm not going to be fussy with it. Spin it. You don't want it too heavy. Spin your bobbin clockwise. Make sure you spin it in and I'll tighten it up so that's your dubbing loop done. Just tighten it up. And then you want more towards the, the wing itself here and lightly come through. You can pull the CDC out a wee bit just to, as you wind. Make sure you plenty of legs. And then you what you do is simply then just bring your deer your deer hair over nice and tight. Catch it down with a turn or so. Just check. Got in one or two there. I want to try and leave as much as the CDC out as possible. Not trap it in too much because when you pull back you will flatten it slightly. So I'm just gonna make sure it's it's there. No use spinning it on if you're flattening it, so make sure the deer hair's on top. One, two, three. That's a wee bit better. Keeping that nice and tight. Again, just draw anything, any of the CDC or miss one fiber, but just leave that. Now, what I like to do is just put a wee bit of varnish on the thread and then whip finish. This locks in your whip finish. One, two, three, four. Tighten up. Trim your thread out. Remove that wee hair. And there we go. And that's the caddis, that's the one that was in the box that fished well. They say it's a very light, light dressing. Uh, it's, it's nice and strong, it will last a few fish, but uh, it's worth having because it catches a lot and it does well because it sits nice and light. If you're looking for a light caddis pattern, it sits and floats. You don't want it to be pulling, it. well, you could pull this fly, but it's one of these flies you want to present to a fish as it naturally drifts. Uh, it's, 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 it's a soft, uh, it's a light dressing caddis. And there we are, and that's it. It's a nice wee pattern. So anyway, there we are. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, this is uh, worth tying. It does catch fish. It's a nice pattern. Simple fly to tie. And uh, it's a good way of getting a nice shape. And uh, as I say, it floats well. So thank you for watching. And until next time.